Hello and welcome to The Update. I'm Heidi Tiltons. Malcolm Turnbull says he had no reason to believe the robo-debt scheme was illegal. The former Prime Minister has appeared before the Royal Commission examining the program, which wrongly informed 400,000 welfare recipients they owed money to the government. He says he urged the minister responsible for robo-debt to make sure everything was above board. The opposition has used question time to accuse the Prime Minister of being tricky over his superannuation changes. Anthony Albanese is doubling the tax rate on super balances above $3 million, despite saying he wouldn't touch superannuation in the lead-up to last year's election. Liberal leader Peter Dutton argues the government has breached voter trust. Given Labor is now increasing taxes on superannuation, will the Prime Minister apologise for this statement? Why has the Prime Minister misled the Australian people? Isn't this yet another broken promise from this tricky Prime Minister? Most economists believe it's a given we'll see another rate rise tomorrow, the 10th in a row. The combined increases will add around $1,500 to monthly mortgage repayments, the Reserve arguing it's necessary to bring down inflation. The current cost of living crisis is driving a record amount of demand for lifeline services. A majority of its 41 centres across Australia say people are flocking in to find financial support, including food distribution. Australia has recorded the highest number of excess deaths since World War II. Almost 20,000 more people died than anticipated last year, a spike of about 12%. Just over 10,000 of those were because of COVID. In sport, Novak Djokovic could find himself ousted as world number one after being denied an exemption to enter the United States. The Serbian star had been hoping to play at Indian Wells and the Miami Masters, but his application for a vaccination waiver has been knocked back. Canterbury is moving on quickly after the round one humbling at the hands of Manly. The New Look side is hoping to bounce back on Saturday night against the Melbourne Storm. And the NBL's most valuable player, Sydney Kings star Xavier Cooks, has secured a move to the NBA. He'll join the Washington Wizards on an 18-month deal. In entertainment news, some of the biggest acts have reportedly been asked to perform at a Live Aid-style concert in the UK in support of Ukraine. Their acclaims Pink, The Rolling Stones, The Killers and U2 have been asked to lend their support to Lviv Aid so far, while there's talk Adele, Sir Paul McCartney and Noel Gallagher have also been approached. Aussie TV's Night of Nights is returning to Sydney after 37 years. The annual Logie Awards have predominantly been held in Melbourne, but the Gold Coast has hosted the last four events. And Johnny Depp's career as an artist has become a lucrative venture, the 53-year-old actor reportedly raking in $8 million just last week after selling his limited edition prints of late stars, including Bob Marley and Heath Ledger. And that's the latest from the Nova Podcast News team, but we'll see you tomorrow morning for another episode of The Update.